hello everyone welcome back to the chart tips and in this video we're going to talk about way of the hunter is crashing it is not launching freezing and stuttering blank screen issue low fps drop stuck on loaded screen and all these kind of issues happening for many of the users and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it so the first step is all about you have to do is a restart restart your pc that is what you have to do pc or laptop whatever it is so for that just go over here in the start now from here go to this icon now go for restart after restarting try to play the game you can see the differences so this is not actually a genuine fix because by doing a simple restart many of the issue has fixed in the past for many users so as a basic step you can try this so let's move to the next step next step is all about you have to allow game file to window security for that you just have to go over here in the search and you have to search for control panel now from here you have to navigate to windows defender firewall now from here go to left allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here you have to check over here so scroll down and navigate to hunt which is uh, alphabet you have to check over here so uh, you have to see whether it is over there even if it's not there do not worry it's not an issue we can add it so how to add it that is the next question right so to add is just click on hello another app now click on browse so we have to navigate to the installer folder that means where the game is installed so all the game is installed in local disk c so i have to open this now i have to go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to over here keep on scrolling and navigate to steam now go to steam apps select common from here i have to cl uh, click on hunt showdown like it is i have to click sorry it's not hunt showdown way of hunter so uh, i have to click on so where is it so here it is the way of hunter open this now from here i have to select the application so i have to check when you wait whether i am of it no it's not there so uh, i have to click on sometimes you know okay that's why i said because many people ask me the question when you click on this you can see it's around 230 kb so this is not actually the thing you have to open a uh, way of thunder go to binaries win 64 87127 kb just select this and open this and once it is done just add it now as you can see the way of hunter is added and one step you have to do is make sure under private and public both these uh, things should be checked it should be checked it should not be unchecked or blank it should be checked once it is done just close this then go back to the steam then try to play the game we can see the differences moving to the next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually that is a very important step because updating the graphics card has worked for many of the users so what you have to do is i'll be providing a link in the description which will take you to both nvidia as well for the amd so for the nvidia users they just have to go to this link as you can see the product type is geoforce you have to select the product series that is geoforce rtx 40 and you have to go to the product nvidia geoforce rtx 4090 in my case it is 4090 and the product series is, in my case it is 40 series now i have to go to the operating system i am using right now is windows 11 so we have parallel options but i have set this to windows 11 go for download type and go for language and go for start search now what happens is you'll be getting another page like this which give you the version that is 527.56 which is released on 12th december 2022 and which is around 813.49 mb just download this and install for the nvidia users simultaneously for the amd users just have to go over here select the graphics select everything from here in the simultaneously now go for submit you will be getting two to three options basically there will be windows uh, like two options windows 11 64 bit windows 10 64 bit so windows 11 uses download this adrenaline version windows 7 uh, 10 uses download this adrenaline version and install it after installing try to play the game you can see the differences and even if it's not working we have to go to the next one that is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus on your pc or laptop for that you just have to go over here as you can see this is x64 and this is x86 so you have to download this for that i have to go to uh, over here in the search now i have to go to settings now from here i have to go to system and i have to check which one is mine so i have to go to about over here from the about it will be very visible that mine is 64 bit operating system so i have to download 64 bit this one it should not be downloading this one i have to download this and install this 
After downloading and installing the .exe, restart your PC, then C, and most probably you can fix the issue. So these two steps, updating or uh, updating the graphics card manually and installing Visual C++ 2015, 17, 19, and 22 has worked for many of the users. So be alert to this step. You can try this and you can see the differences. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to go over here in the search, go for graphics settings. Now from here, you just have to click on browse. Now from here, you just have to go to this PC. You have to navigate to where the game is installed. So in my case, it is local to C. I have to scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to over here on Steam folder. Now once again, I have to go to Steam apps. Now I have to go to common. Now from here, scroll down and select way of hunter. Now from here, go to this folder, go to binaries, win64, add this. Once you are added with this, as you can see, this is added. So you just have to click on options because by default, this, this will be let windows decide. So you have to change this to high performance and go for save and close everything. Go back to the game and try to launch the game. You can see the differences. And if it's not working, then we just have to move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator and also you have to launch the game from installation folder. So right now, when you launch the game, it is actually launching from the Steam. So uh, this can even sometime a trouble. So first one is all about you have to run the game as an administrator. So it is very easily available to navigate to installation folder from Steam. For that, you just have to right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on browse. Now, as you can see, this has been taken to the folder where the game is installed. That is this PC, local to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common way of hunter. It is very easily being navigated. So this is the easiest way. Now go to the way of hunter, go to binaries, win64 and select the folder. Right click and go to show more options and go to properties, go to compatibility. And now, sorry, you have to do it once again. Go to show more options, go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK. After that, try to see whether it's going to fix. If it's not, the next step parallel which I mentioned is launch the game from installation folder because right now we are in the installation folder. So we have to open the game from here itself, not depending on Steam, uh, uh, launch the game from installation folder. This particular step has worked for some of the users so you can try this out. Moving to the next one, apart from this is all about, you have to disable Steam overlay and overclocking application. For that you just have to go over here, select the game, right click and go to properties. Go to over here under general as you can see. Enable the steam overlay while in game is unchecked which means it is disabled. So the steam overlay is disabled. So this is a very important step. Next one is all about you have to stop all overclocking applications. So I have to get into this very easily that discord, antivirus etc are the main overclocking applications. So what you have to do is just go over here in the start. Go to task manager. Now from here as you can see it is widely visible. That is, I'm running, I'm using right now over here. As you can see, all these things are these apps under category, which is around six. That is Adobe Premium Pro, Google Chrome, Screen Recorder, Steam, Task Manager, and Windows Explorer. And apart from that, if you scroll down, you can see under background process, there are 91 apps which is draining out my performance as well as which is running in my background. All these things are affecting me. So I'm having a 32 GB of RAM. So it is not affecting me much, but for a user who is trying to play this game with the 2GB, 4GB of RAM, you know, they will be definitely having the nightmare and worst time of their life. So what we have to do is we just have to end the task. For this code, end the task for these kind of apps. Not only discord, dis eject everything, not eject, you have to end the task everything. And when you do this, it is, as you can see, uh, it is getting done by one by one. So the number of this particular app user is getting decreased. So you have to do it one by one. Keep on doing it one by one and finish everything. After that, try to launch the game and you can see the differences. Moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot. For that, just go over here. Go to system configuration. Go to services. And there is an option called disable all. Go for disable all. Hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. When you do this, you're getting a question like this which is asking whether you wanted to do a restart or exit without a restart. But here I'm in the middle of video, so I'm not doing a restart, but for you users have to go for restart. Then after restart, try to play the game because I'm going to exit without restart. But for you, it is a mandatory that you have to go with the restart. And once it is done, try to launch the game and you can see the magic. And if it's the magic is not working, just move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to verify 
verify integrity of game file for that you just have to click over here go to properties and go to local file click on uh, verify integrity of game file so this is going to fix a lot of issue actually so what happens is any files are corrupted any files are uh, missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is a very vital step which you have to try out should not be neglecting this step and this has worked for many of the users as well moving to the next one is all about you have to update windows so running a game like this should be updated to the latest versions or you should be running the game in the latest updated version of windows or else you'll be having many troubles for that just go over here in the search and navigate to settings over here now from here go to windows update over here and as you can see you have to restart it's not restart you have to update it to the latest version once you're done with that what you have to do is you just have to try to play the game and you can see if it's not working we have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to disconnect all multiple monitors usb devices logitech wheels any joystick controllers or etc what you are already connected your usb ports right now you have to eject it completely that means you have to remove everything launch the game after launching the game connect it back if you wanted to play it with the controller for example eject everything from the usb port and keep it zero once you are launching with the game once the game is launched connect it back the controllers and try to play the game and you can see the differences and moving to the next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game so this has worked for many of the users so for uninstalling just go over here and right click and go to manager and uninstall the game but keep in mind when you're trying to reinstall it back it should not be on the same local disk which is already there as you can see in my case it is actually a very hard thing that is i'm only having local disk c so even if i uninstall and reinstall this particular step is not going to work for you but uh, for me but for you this is going to work because right now by default the game will be always uh, saved on local disk c you have to uninstall the game and while reinstalling back it should be on d e f etc it should not be on c change the local disk c frame to d e f etc vice versa and depends on it after that try to see and it might be work at put because this uninstalling and reinstalling has worked for many of the users so try with this last few things which i would like to make you notice is you have to give launch options and you have to increase the virtual memory this is a very important step which is worked for many users so this is not much important that is giving launch options worked for some as well as even some it didn't work so you can try that accordingly so just click over here go to properties under general as you can see there is a launch option give the command that is dx11 you can launch the game and if it's not working just change the command dx12 and you can see the differences and even if it's not working just remove everything keep it into default position you don't have to do anything and once it is done see whether it's going to work or not and if it's not going to work we have very important step that is all about you have to increase virtual memory which is which has helped many of the users and even we mentioned it in our blog where i'll be giving few links in the description uh, where you can read our blog from get dry tips so what you have to do is just go over here in the search and you have to go to view advanced system settings over here now from here what you have to do is just go to settings now go to advanced now from here go to change and it is very important under virtual memory the uh, memory as you can see automatically manage paging filing size it should be unchecked because then only we will be able to select the c drive because my game is installed on c so you have to select the respective drive where the game is installed you should you should, you should not be uh, unchecking it or you should not be doing it uh, wrong you have to check it so here if i select this i'll not be able to uh, check the local disk so that's why i made it unchecked and you have to select in my case i'm only having one disk so this is on c the game is installed in c but in a case if it is on d or e you have to select the respective local disk not c by default once it is done just click on custom size and we have to give the value initial size and maximum size so initial size is always 1.5 times the total ram and maximum size is always 3 times the total ram so we wanted to know what is my ram for that just go to settings go to system now scroll down and navigate to about and from here as you can see the ram is 32 gb okay so i realize that you can do the same and just go over here select the calculators and we have to do the conversion which is quite important as well so here i have to first do the conversion 32 gb into mb for that 32 i have to multiply it with 1024 that is 32768 now i have to multiply it with 1.5 times that is 49152 so i have to paste it and i have to move to the next one next one is i have to give the maximum size that is 32 gb i have to do the conversion that is 1024 Four and I have to multiply it with three. That is ninety-eight thousand three hundred four. That is the maximum size because the maximum size is always three times the total RAM. 
so i have to paste it once i'm done with this i have to okay everything restart your pc and try to play the game and you can see the differences and these are the possible workaround which you have to try out when way of the hunter is crashing not launching freezing and stuttering stuck on load screen black screen low fps drop and even all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye